My interest in photography came out of my work as a human rights professional. I've been working in torture prevention for seven years and then before that in a range of other human rights areas. Um, and I think over time I realized how important uh, visual stories are in communicating human rights messages. And so after, um, over the past uh, four or five years, um, first as an amateur and then as a professional photographer, I've really been trying to bring these two worlds together um, and, and work at the intersection of, of human rights and photography to try and tell some of those stories. I, I think there's a, a couple of images that I've taken in detention so through my work with the Association for Prevention of Torture. Um, one of a, a woman walking through the door in a, in a place of detention in, in West Africa that I think tells a little bit of a story that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrible place, a place with extraordinarily bad material conditions, people spending a long time in pretrial detention and um, really, really suffering. And I think that's, that's an image that I think at least shows something hopeful in, in, in a place that's, that's really, really dark. So an, another image um, in, in East Africa of a man um, behind bars holding a, holding a pack of cards, at least to me, tells something about a story of, of how much time people um, spend in, in police custody, particularly during COVID, people often spending months and, and, and even years in, in police custody just waiting to, waiting to see a judge. Maybe to, just to talk about one, one other image, um, that's an image again I took, a, I took in East Africa of a, a man riding his, riding his two kids to school and he's, he's wearing a suit and there's two kids on the back of his bike and one of them um, a, a little bit luckily is looking right at me as, a, as I took the picture. And I think, again, that's an image where I hope it tells a whole story about changing gender roles um, and about, about family life in, in, in one frame. It's important to give what we can to organizations that we support, um, whether it be um, through clicking on the donate button on websites or whether it's through donating skills that can be useful. Um, and I think as a photographer I have uh, uh, some expertise in telling human rights stories and I think to be able to not only take photos when I can um, but also share those skills with others through training and talking to human rights defenders about how they can tell better stories. I think that's all part of all of us working towards achieving the human rights goals that we'd like to achieve.